Okay, so this video is going to show uh, how to set up a custom SLI profile for Titanfall. Uh, the one that I tried, the Half-Life 2 and Batman Arkham Origins one, uh, didn't work. The one you can download from the Google uh, Dropbox or whatever it is, that didn't work. Uh, this is the uh, Bioshock Infinite one, and it uh, works really well. It, it scales pretty good most of the time. Sometimes it's just average scaling, but uh, it's stable. I uh, had no crashes, uh, no frame stuttering or micro stuttering or anything like that. It, it just ran really well, and it works pretty good for a custom SLI profile. So download NVIDIA Inspector if you haven't already. If you don't already have it, and uh, come here. This toolbox here. Open that up. Ignore the kids screaming in the background. Um, go ahead and type in uh, Titanfall here. Dropbox, select it. Um, change this to um, the Bioshock Infinite uh, compatibility bits. It's right there. And then um, ambient occlusion needs to be enabled and set to performance. You just use a Dropbox for that. Um, for this, I set my uh, GPU count to 2 because I have two 780s. You can probably leave that as auto. But um, I set it and it works. Uh, this one needs to be AFR2. Again, just to find it in the Dropbox here. And lastly, oh no, that's it actually. So um, once you do that, go ahead and apply changes. Everything else is default. All right, close that out. Okay, open up the control panel just to make sure under manage 3D settings, program settings, Titanfall on the drop down that you have this set to performance and alternate frame rendering too for SLA rendering mode. And I have a, a adaptive VSync turned on because it helps the screen tearing and locks the frames at 60, which is what I prefer. Triple buffering on. Um, I have two 780, so I have pretty much everything except the quality for the most part. High settings. I set it to your liking, but you know if you want to mimic exactly how I have, since this works for me for Titanfall SLI, uh, you go ahead and do that. If you need to just pause and look at it, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, uh, hit apply if you need to. Close it out. And one other thing I wanted to show you. Is I t when I'm going to go ahead and turn on, turning on show SLI visual indicator so you can see the scaling. I'm going to start a match. You don't have to watch the whole match, but you can watch it to see how it scales and see that it runs stable, so on and so forth. Anyway, now it's out of the way. Let's go ahead and turn Titanfall on. In the uh, Titanfall um, video settings, I have everything on max except um, vertical sync. I have off. I noticed that when I in the NVIDIA control panel, if I'm using uh, V-Sync, the V-Sync's turned on, or the adaptive V-Sync is turned on in the NVIDIA control panel, and turned on in the game's in-game video settings. Um, it tends to run weird, so as you can see, I have everything full screen, wide screen, all that stuff, 1080p, anti-aliasing, and uh, V-Sync disabled. Everything else is max, high, insane, so on and so forth. Alright, go ahead and get a match started. This over here is the uh, visual indicator for the scaling. See how well the SLI is working. Uh, normally it works between 15 and 80 percent depending on the map. Some maps are better than other others, but for a custom SLI profile before the official one comes out, it's pretty good. I'm um, going to start I'm burning cards. I'll slap some. Oh, it might throw me right into a match. That'd be nice. Cool. Okay, great. So no waiting. Um, I played for about three hours last night using this profile, and I wasn't using the uh, visual indicator here for the uh, scaling. But it did run stable. I never crashed. Today I've done about four or five matches since I've been trying to make this video. But it, uh, something happens. My kids come in here and start screaming or something. I get a phone call. So, so far today, I, about five or six matches I've seen. Um, anywhere between really good scaling to average. Let's see how this works. How this map works.
guys are gonna be pissed. Oh, I think he might have called me a name. Now, so this one, looking at, um, if you look at the top left hand corner, you see in pink my GPU one and GPU two temps uh, usage and um, the clock. If you want to get an idea of what I'm running. Um, below that, you're gonna see my frame rate, which is pretty much always about 60. This game's not that demanding, even when it's hectic. Uh, two 780s though, it's pretty good. Pretty powerful, so you should be most. Most of what gets thrown out of the game. Oh, shit. Um, and then CPU, uh, temp, and then usage there. Pretty demanding game for the CPU, actually. And below that the RAM. This game takes a lot of RAM sometimes. Sometimes I've seen it up above 10. Uh, it's a bit of a smash. Just guys. Where did you go? Ran away, huh? There you are. So what I've been doing is putting Guardian Chip on my pilot, and then a lot of time I actually run around not in my Titan because people like to focus on Titans. And then like okay, here they like to this guy looks like he can kill. I got him, you can get back on your get back in your Titan, I killed him guys. Oh, thanks buddy, but I'm just jumping out on purpose. That was nice. Kill me some specters. Right. Okay. Thanks for your boss for the, uh, for the show. That's all I got. It's like kill that dude's card. Kidding me, I'm stuck. So here, uh, yeah, scaling is, um, no, it's alright, it's much better. But I'm happy with it for, uh, you know, for a, uh, custom one. I don't have control. Well done. I can please don't spawn, just let me get on it. Or die. Oh my god, <laughs> this fucking spider got me. Well, that's happens when you're trying to get rodeo kills all the time. You know, KD is not going to be very good. Oh, what? Come on! Oh, someone's in the Now let me get the kill! Come on, leave me alone. Let me do it. Let me get it. You say you get the assist, I'm going to be pissed. Yes. Oh, my God. That's all I've been doing for the last 15 minutes. 